Hello everyone, welcome back to Outriders. In this one we're going to be continuing on from the same spot where we left off before. However, we are going to be continuing on with a different character. Um, I did try out a few different characters. I tried out the Technomancer, Devastator, uh, the Pyromancer, and the Trickster is the class that we started with. Now I did, I have been doing my walkthrough up till now with the Trickster, and I thought I'd give the other classes a bit of a try because when the demo was released, I didn't really give the other classes much of a chance. I sort of just went straight for the for the trickster because I thought it went the coolest. But after mucking around with the classes a little bit, I have come across the Devastator and I actually am enjoying the Devastator a little bit more. Um, I'll go through all these skills and all the, the upgrades that I've made so far so you, you guys sort of get a, a brief idea of uh, how the class works and, and how it plays out and stuff. But I just want to give my thoughts on the overall different classes as of now. Um, first of all, I think the Devastator is a much more forgiving class just because it, you know, it is the tank class of the game. The, the strategy that I've taken to build my Devastator just pumped a lot of stats into health and things. And in a game like Outriders where life regen and, and health regen is so important because there is no like health potions or anything like that. And I think based on this fact alone, uh, the Pyromancer is actually the hardest class to play, in my opinion. I didn't actually get that far with it. It sort of was a little bit hard towards the start just to get my health back because you have to damage certain enemies with your abilities and if those enemies aren't damaged then you just don't get any health back it made things a little bit more difficult uh the technomancer is actually not too bad to play with just because you automatically have life leech off your weapon so i mean that's pretty straightforward you just deal damage to other other enemies and you get health back so the order it goes in is from my personal opinion i think the devastator is the easiest uh, the Trickster is the next easiest just because it makes it really easy for you to get up close and personal with your movement abilities. The Technomancer is then the next one and then the Pyromancer, in my opinion, is actually the hardest towards the start of the game anyway. So we're going to jump in with the Devastator here. We did actually unlock World Tier 7. Um, I'm probably going to continue on with World Tier 6 just because World Tier 7, I did unlock it, but it, it gets really bloody hard, World Tier 7. You do will unlock a loot that is a little bit higher than your, your level. You can see here enemy level plus four but dropped item level plus four as well um but we're going to be going up our levels you know consistently every now and then so we don't really have to worry about the the item level especially because the items we get are going to be overwritten anyway at a certain point so we will select the story point because we're up to the quarry lower the outpost of bridge that is exactly where we were with our with our trickster so we're going to go on from here and then i'll give you a brief rundown of the skills and the things that i have unlocked so far and the direction that i'm taking this character so here we are uh, just so you get a brief idea of where we are this is the battle that occurred at the end of the last episode uh, we finally did it. i actually completed this battle on world 7 with the devastator but just to give you a, an idea so we look at the skills so there's basically two main damage skills for the Devastator that are purely based on damage. That is Earthquake and Impale. These are the two damage skills. Earthquake is sort of just, you shoot something that goes straight out in front of you. I actually prefer the Earthquake for a lot of little enemies and things. Uh, but I have so many items uh, right now that I'm using that are based off Impale. Like you can see here, the skill can strike one additional target. And I have another pretty important one. They are here with this one, they get an extra range from it. But the, there's another one. Here, this skill can activate, be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown. So I get an additional target and an additional one more time. So I can hit up to four people after spamming it twice, which is pretty crazy. I think that makes it a little bit better than Earthquake in my opinion. That's why I'm using Impale and I'll just show you the, the little cinematic here. That's how it looks like. And the good thing about this is if the damage is lethal, the enemy will be impaled, granting a powerful bonus to armor and a health regeneration to all allies for nine seconds. But I think you have to be in the in the local vicinity of where that enemy gets impaled, which is pretty cool. Reflect bullets. This is a pretty crazy skill. This is what the this is what I thought the trickster's skill was when I initially unlocked it, but it turned out to be something different. And the reflect bullets on the Devastator was exactly what I was looking for. I think this is one of my favorite skills in the game right now. It is a little bit situational, just because if you don't have anyone shooting you, if you're up against monsters or something like that, then it isn't really that effective. Then I would rather change it out change it out for something like this, Golem, which just fortifies me against 65% of incoming damage for eight seconds. There's two types of movement skills that we have. One of them is gravity leap. You can jump up into the air. 
and then slam onto the ground. I think that's a really nice skill. And the one that I just unlocked here, Boulder Dash, you just run forward and then smash onto the ground. I'm actually finding uh, Gravity Leap is a little bit more favorable uh, when I come up against enemies because when a lot of bombs and things get placed on the ground in front of me, you can uh, fly up into the air and you actually get a good two or three seconds where you don't actually have to use the skill, but you can just hover in the air with it, which uh, gives you a little bit of breathing time and it, it allows you to dodge all the bombs and things that would explode at your feet. Uh, there's another sort of damage skill, this tremor one. You just create a series of shockwaves around yourself. I would probably change out reflect bullets for tremor when I come up against monsters instead of actually enemies that are going to be shooting me. Uh, just because just because I'm not going to get that much use out of reflect bullets if I'm only going up against monsters, right? And uh, this one, this uh, last one, we unlock at level 22. So we get a little bit of a, a way to go before we unlock that. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the skills for you. In terms of taking the class, there are three different uh, there are three different ways we can take this class as per usual. The top one is mainly based on weapon damage. The middle one is, in my opinion, mainly based on on tank and resistances and health. And the bottom one is mainly based on anomaly and using your abilities to do as much damage as possible. Um, because this is a tank class, I did decided to go in the tank direction and I decided to focus on increasing my max, max health. You can see this is the Colossus rune here. We've already unlocked four of those. And also this one, the Anomaly in Veins. Increase your health regeneration by 1% of your max health. And in a game where health regeneration and gaining health back is actually quite, quite difficult, um, I think Anomaly in Veins is actually a really powerful skill because I have a lot of I have a lot of skills here that they sort of kill the momentum of the fight and slow things down and that really allows you to get uh, enough time to be able to regenerate your health by the time the fight continues and so I unlocked all three of those. I could have opted for getting a little bit more armor, a little bit extra armor to become a little bit tankier but I'm going for the health regen at the moment and it seems to be working out pretty good. The first main node that I'm going to be unlocking is this one. You have 100% chance to ignore damage that would kill you and gain 50% of your max health. This effect may occur once every 180 seconds. So this is pretty much a second life, right? If you die, you come back with 50% of your max health and you can do that once every three minutes, which is, uh, I think, actually pretty crazy. It's one of the most powerful skills, I think. Then we're going to keep going down here, armor. Another thing that I'm going to be working towards is this one, extend the distance considered to be close range. That means uh, enemies that are a little bit further away will also restore my health. And this one as well, when an enemy dies in your close range, 20% of their armor will be transferred to you for 10 seconds. And I'm hoping this can stack. I hope it can stack because that means you have five enemies around you. You uh, you kill them all and that's like 100% boost armor. I'm not sure if it'll stack. I think it might be a little bit overpowered if it does. But if it does, I mean, all the better. I'm definitely going to be going to be trying it out. So sorry for that long introduction, but I feel like it was sort of necessary after changing classes completely on you. But I just felt like it would just be good for the walkthrough to just give a, a better idea of how a different class plays out. And, I mean, it would be silly, I think, when I'm having a little bit more fun with this class to continue on with a class that I that I didn't have as much fun with. So we're going to be continuing with this class. We will soon see how it plays out. Before we continue, I'll just show you my weapons. Killing shots regenerate 192 points of your health. It's just a standard assault rifle. We've got the sniper, also regenerates health and shots slow on, on impact. And we've got this pistol as well, the shot's slow. So yeah, this whole class is pretty much based around slowing things down, slowing the enemy down and giving ourselves enough time to regain our health. And you can see down there, down the bottom left, we've already got close to a thousand, thousand health, which is pretty crazy. So I don't think we should have too much problems with the, with the content coming up, but we'll see. So here we go. We've got some items here. Unfortunately, all the all the abilities that we unlock by disassembling items, they are they exclusive to the class you're playing, so they don't carry over between accounts. So you do have have to actually unlock them all again, unfortunately. But that's all right. That is not a problem. Yeah, it's impaled, and I can use it again. Boom. Oh yeah. And like I said earlier, my reflect bullets is uh, it's actually pretty, pretty bad here, just because you know we're just up against monsters, so we won't be using that. 
But the good thing is, because I can always reset my skill tree and change my skills whenever I want, if I do come to a, a point where I'm having a little bit of trouble, then I can always change my skills out and change my abilities out and everything before the battle begins, right? If we actually end up be, if we end up dying. You can see it's just crazy how much life I would generate now for the, the things that I've unlocked. There you go. We'll harvest this stuff. And just like that, back up the full health. This definitely seems like some sort of spider area. I don't know, like some sort of spider nest. Something that I have noticed though is I think the, the Devastator has the weakest melee attack because melee attack inflicts bleed on the Devastator but it doesn't seem that powerful if I'm being honest. Uh, because Reflect Bullets isn't actually doing much here we'll change it to Tremor for the time being. And I haven't actually tested this skill too much so this might be a good opportunity for it. Hopefully you don't come up against, up against humans now, that'll be quite awkward. There you go. So nuts, they just as soon as they can get a few hits on, but because I'm just so good at stopping the incoming damage and just slowing down the fight, they just can't get my health down low enough. Pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy. Alright. Oh, there's one more? Oh no, they're up here now. I think this is uh, the direction we gotta go. It looks alright. Jacob. The road's yours. So long, fuckers. You're heading back across the minefield on foot? Better than where you're headed. Have fun getting yourselves killed. That's it. The quarry. We've got a plan to get us through alive. We have to make some modifications to the truck. You're not touching the truck. We have to seal the interior. Then with lithium perchlorate to generate oxygen and iron powder and lithium hydroxide to scrub CO2. English, please. The truck will be like a bubble. And we'll be safe inside so long as we have lithium to generate oxygen. That'll give us time to find the source of the signal. Would you expect me to magically pour more lithium out of my ass when our supply runs out? I can do without the snide remarks. The only source of lithium on Enoch comes from old batteries from Earth. Now, most of them were scavenged for parts long ago, but the mining operation's been inaccessible for years. There's bound to still be some of them around here. Simply put, we find the batteries, we get to live. Oh, 
better and better. Let's move. Alright, so we're looking for a battery. Zahidi, New quest I'm expedition. heading in. Tell me exactly what I'm looking for. You're looking for old batteries. They could be in capacitors, engines, mining equipment, old burnt out electronics. Three batteries should be enough. I hope. Hey, Outrider. Zahidi mentioned you've known Jakob since Earth. What was he like back then? He was always rough, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Look. Back on Earth, it was dark times. It turned us all cold, and now this place. To survive all that, only to end up somewhere worse. Ah, it's made him damn worse. detonator. Yeah, well, only need to do one thing, you can't even do that, sure. right? But it maybe goes away to explain things. Okay, we'll grab these side quests, as we always do. You real? Think so. How long you been here? Days, weeks, lost count. Fucking insurgents flooded in and murdered all the miners. We were supposed to be the neutral down here. I managed to hide, but these sons of bitches lined up my men. I slit their throats like fucking cattle. I had a plan, I had a fucking plan. Explosives in the elevator shaft. You're gonna bury them alive down there. Yeah, but it's not working. The line, oh, the line's cut somewhere. Maybe you can repair. I'll repair the line. Hang tight. Don't drag this out any more than you have to. Well, this should be interesting. I want to give those insurgents what's coming to them. Count me in. Oh, it's another one of those execution missions. Grab that as well. Okay, so I think we have to head more over this way. Let's look at the map, because we haven't looked at the map yet. Oh, wow, it's a pretty big area, actually. Apparently, we got to go down over this way. Yeah, here we go. If things do appear a little bit too easy, we could always just up the world to world tier 7. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. This one looks intact. Two more to go. Oh, a new type of enemy. Okay, that wasn't actually that bad. New pi new type of enemy. It's like a, a bullet sponge, but they're not they don't actually do that much damage. It's hard to really know what does too much damage though as the uh, as the devastator. <laughs> it's like a walking brick wall. Oh nice. Good I'll enough. take that. One more left. Hey, boss. Do you really think the Doc's plan is gonna work? It doesn't sound like you're asking for reassurance. No, I am asking if you've got a death wish and are dragging the rest of us down with you. Is this about Chenna? She's got reasons for her choice, Jakob. I think you just gotta live with it. Yeah, I have a suspicion it won't be for long. Well, okay, we're getting rough. It's getting rough now. Nice. 
Vamos, vamos. Alright, big boss. Reload. Why oh, is giving me no time to reload? It's crazy. This is where I think classes like the Pyromancer and, and Technomancer would be quite difficult to play because they don't give you any breathing room. Alright, they just come out straight at you. No, I can't do anything to this guy. I can now though. Yeah. Juicy leather. Okay. I think that might be the last lithium. Excellent. Bring them on back, and I can finish building the purifier. Yeah, that's that would be really hard. I think in classes that aren't focused on uh, on close range, they just don't give you any breathing room. They just swarm you. Like, all the time. Do we run back here? Or could we just teleport back? It might be quicker to just teleport. I don't think that, uh... You just got real lucky, old man. What if she comes with us? If we make it through, someone has to keep the briefcase and me safe when you're not around. Look, old man, I don't do charity work. No, no, please, we need you. Give me a break. She's playing us. This is her way of weaseling her way into our troop. She's spying for Corrigan. You see that in your crystal ball? Admit it, you psychopath. You know I'm right. You couldn't pay me enough of whatever prize you're after, freak. We're tracking a signal that's coming from beyond the anomaly. When we find it, we're gonna reconnect to the florist and bring down those lost supply pods. Keep Dr. Zahidi alive and keep your stupid mouth shut and you'll get your share of the loot. Deal. Fucking believable. I know, I know, she's a pain in the ass. But, uh, if you lay a hand on her ever again, I'll run you over with this goddamn truck. Hopefully she gets the point. Okay, to the next area it looks like. 
That Bailey, what a character, eh? Crazy. So where are we off to now? We got one shot at this. Let's be honest. Anyone who follows me out there today is probably gonna die. And we'll all be home for Christmas. How do I keep getting myself into this shit? Oh, one way ride? Prepare your truck to enter the forest. Oh, wow, we're finally coming into the forest. This is the thing that we've been, it's been leading up to the whole time. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, enter the lair? Okay, here we go. Oh god. Straight into it. Oh my god. You picked a great time to show up. I'm trying to look for the critical points on this on this bloke. I can't really find any. That's a sick way to dodge it. <laughs> Just go up into the air. Oh, there we go, the eyes, maybe. There's definitely something there that's like a critical hit. Man, this guy takes some damage though, bloody hell. Oh, I can hit him when he puts his hand down. That's good to know.
<laughs> that's so nice. Oh, I just missed it. I was going to try and hit his hand. Mate, this is just about being patient and consistent. Because my ammo is doing nothing. I think I wouldn't want to do this on board tier 7. Just because it would take too long. I can't even hit him. Oh, there we go. Did you get some ammo? Oh, I nearly got it. First part. Okay, so that should be the first phase, I think, maybe. Because I can't do any more damage here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what? Alright, you know what? I think if we stand a little bit closer to him... We might be able to get a little bit more damage off because of the range drop off. So now it's doing that 20 damage. This is taking a while though, bloody hell. Oh, we got other monsters now, okay. Time for something different. has been taken killed. We had a little bit of a close call there for a second. Actually, I, I don't think the range does very much. Because he's still pretty much taking the same amount of damage as before. Oh, wow. Takes a lot of damage there, though. Hundred and ninety-five per shot. Uh, that's decent, actually. Getting smoked. Oh, we got no, uh, we got no ammo. That's why. Oh, 
Alright, there we go, there we go. Now we can concentrate on this big boy again. Not taking any damage. <laughs> so tanky. have to grab some ammo soon, I think. Again. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, hopefully that was the last set of those little bugs there. Just need to keep withering, withering him down. Short by short. It'd be a lot easier if I knew exactly where the... Uh, where the critical spot was. Oh, we might have to take the bugs on one more time here. It's like he's moving away. Oh yeah, there we go. One more. There we go. Oh, he's nearly dead, actually. There we go. Finally. Oh, some juicy purples. Thank you very much. Oh, one of them is an assault rifle. That is sick. That could be exactly what we were looking for. A little bit of a nice assault rifle upgrade. Hang on. Oh, what the? Did we just get a legendary? Oh, our first legendary. Pump action shotgun. Well, I guess I say goodbye to this sniper rifle. Killing shots grants your protective golem effect for three seconds. Killing shots detonate the enemy's bones and turn them into shrapnel that deals 685 damage and inflicts bleed on enemies within a 5 meter radius. Oh, finally! Awesome, okay, and we also get a an assault rifle upgrade as well. 
critical shots spawn an anomaly energy blast that deals 136 damage and reloading weapon inflicts freeze on enemies previously wounded. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we got a little bit of a pistol upgrade there as well. Bloody hell. Upgraded everything there. Alright, let's look at our look at our gear here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything special. Hang on. Cool. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Let's try this shit. Okay, seems pretty standard, but I'm sure it'll be very interesting in combat. Oh, we also got a class point. Sorry. So, we get our second win now, right? Our, uh, our revive. You have a 100% chance to ignore damage that would kill you and gain 50% chance of your max health every three minutes. I'm down. Let's do it. So we're pretty much unstoppable at this point. Dizzy in this way, it can't. <laughs> Is that what your magic fucking fairy vision said? Because it sure as hell doesn't look like we're getting out of here and... What? No. No, 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 it's okay. Something happens. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <coughs> hey, where are you taking us? Who the hell are you people? All your questions will be answered when we reach Dr. Skurlock. <coughs> it's too late. We're not making it to any doctor. Stand down or your people will die. You fucking die with them. I'm not threatening them, asshole. I'm trying to save them! The hell? What exactly is in this? Please, please, uh, do, do not fear. My name is Nathan Skurlock, xenobiologist. Uh, Dr. Abraham Zahidi, can you explain to Zahidi? us what... Oh my, what an unexpected honor. I was a follower of your father's work. Um, at least, um, as long as was possible. I haven't uh, so much a claim to fame. As you can see, there is one breakthrough of mine that has served us rather well. Just tell us how it works. Um, yes, yes, of course. My apologies. Um, the fungus wasn't always like this. Its DNA was altered. My formula merely turns the fungus against itself. Here, all who are brave enough to reach us are free to live in peace. My antidote must be injected daily. None of us dare stay far away from camp without it. We have a small ceremony each month. We're just in time for one. No alters, I'm afraid. I hope that the rest of your convoy will attend this evening. We're not planning on staying long. Oh, beyond here, there's only death. Until the truck is repaired, we're stuck here anyway. Good. Thank you. Jacob, mm. look what I found in the forest. This was Cuthbert's. We've been here before. Well, shit. I thought things looked familiar. I thought it was Skurlock's drugs. But unless you can pull a spare oil pump from your ass, we're not going very far. We left a truck here before. That day the first storm hit. Maybe I can find it. Find it? That was 30 years ago. Not for me. True. For him, he just pretty much, like, woke up. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll accept this side quest. Why not? It's in the same direction anyway. Wow, look at this place. I see bodies tied up on damn Honestly, it reminds me of, like, Avatar or something. You see my wife? She was watching the gate. You've seen me. Oh, there's two side quests now. Bloody hell. There's definitely some stuff to get done here. What can I get you? The calendar with the knife in it. What's the story? <sighs> Bad fucking luck is what? <sighs> I'm in trouble. This fucking guy I'm in debt to. 
He said I gotta pay by that date or play his game. What kind of game? If I win, he wipes my deck clean. If I lose, bang. But no one ever fucking wins this game. What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm dead either way. <sighs> Say, maybe you could have a word with him. I'll take your place in the game. Huh, interesting. You still look around for the guy Mercer rose a debt huh? to. Can't say I blame you. Curious to see what his game's about. Just yeah, I wonder, I wonder. All right, this is where we continue on uh, with the main quest line through these doors. I think this is where we're going to stop it here, guys. And we're going to continue on in the next episode. I hope you guys don't mind me switching it over to the Devastator. I'm definitely have a, having a little bit more fun with the Devastator. I, th I think the fact that it's a lot tankier um, makes it... So I don't have to play everything so perfectly. But yeah, it feels really nice to play. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we'll kick it off from here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.